And who do we have here? It is always a pleasure to see a new face, quite unlike that of many royals I am often around. May I ask from which jurisdiction you are? The East End, hmm? Yes, they do tend to have quite the diverse nobility there. It would explain why I have not met you before. I am very glad to have you here tonight, darling, and I hope you will stay for a while. Since this is your first time here, allow me to give you the tour of the place. No need to be shy. I am sure the other guests will be able to entertain themselves with each other while we are gone, and we won't be long. I insist. In fact, it is an order. You would not say no to an order from His Majesty, would you? Then please, take my arm, and let's be on our way. Do tell me more about yourself. It has been a while since I had visited that end. Are the governors doing well there? That is good. Lady Margaret and I used to get on quite well. It is a shame she fell ill at such a tender age. Time is a cruel mistress. It is not her I wish to talk about, however. She could be far too lenient at times, and I am sure your family has been keeping quite the strong hold on the population following her departure. Sometimes you must be harsh with the rules to squash any insurrections. The last thing we want is for the impure to seize power, or worse. This castle is rather old, you see. When it was first established, humans still held control of the nations and hunted us, as they were very afraid. You keep glancing back, dear. Is something bothering you? No one will disturb us here, I assure you. We do seem to be heading further away from the party. Quite the change of scenery. As it is very quiet on this side of the castle. We have just begun our little tour. You couldn't possibly want to leave just yet. It is not every day you get to have such an in-depth view of the Vampire Lord's castle. I am sure your family will understand if you are away for just a little longer, won't they? If they don't, I will just have to talk to them myself. It is okay. You can just leave it to me if need be. Other vampires will listen to my authority, no matter how powerful they think they are. Unless there is something else bothering you. Is there, dear? You can always talk to your king. Don't look away. It is just me and you here. Meet my eyes. Look at me. You can remain here for as long as you need to be, darling. Makes this easier for yourself by being good. Look at me. Now. Just like that. There really is nothing to be afraid of. Unless you are hiding something from me, that is. But it wouldn't be wise, would it? Coming into my house with the intention of misbehaving. No, it would not be wise at all. Right, dear? Then let us proceed further. 
we will be soon reaching the living quarters, which have quite recently been renovated. Keep up. Mother used to be rather fond of old decorations, but as you may imagine, they had been out of fashion for a long time. They have now been changed to some that better suit our image of red and black, and... Ah, uh, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You can only run so far before I, or someone else, find you again. And it is not like you would stand a chance if you were to try and fight any of us, would you, dear? Oh no, so small, so helpless, so weak. Stop struggling. It will tire you out more than it would do to me. If you didn't want to be in my presence so much, then you should have thought twice before coming here tonight. Isn't that right, human? <laughs> Don't look so surprised now. It would take more than this pathetic disguise to fool me. Humans, as opposed to vampires, have a very distinct trace. Much sweeter, if I do say so myself. Oh yes, darling. I could tell since I first laid eyes on you. No, I could tell before I even saw you. The others at the party most likely didn't notice. Not all vampires have this power, and that is the difference between them and a royal. A lot of these nobles are only such a name, and do not deserve any recognition. No need to be scared. I do not intend to hurt you. Just yet. I could, and should, for your trespassing and blatant lies, but I am assured by your courage. I suggest you keep amusing me, darling, before I change my mind. Now, will you be a good little human and quietly follow this time? No more attempts at escaping. I knew you would make the right choice. Here, go on, enter. How observant of you. Yes, this is indeed a bedroom. Now, nobody will ever come close to disturbing us. Such a scared thing you are. Where did all that courage that helped you sneak into my home go, hmm? Or was it just curiosity that drew you to this lavish lifestyle? Humans, such destructive creatures. It is only natural that us, the superior race, push you into a corner you deserve to cower in. That is for our safety, and yours too. You might not believe it, but you being here today only serves to prove it. When left to your own devices, you only put yourselves in danger. Come on, dear. Come sit on my lap. You must be misunderstanding. This is not a request. Come here. Now. Much better. You are so much cuter when you obey without question. Look into my eyes, darling. It is such a shame that such delicate features are locked away in a mortal body. With your tender hands and soft eyes, many would fall head over heels for you. 
Yes, your human nature is really unfortunate, but that is an easy fix, isn't it, my love? Confused? That's okay. We can talk about this later. Just keep looking into my eyes. Unlike you, I did not lie, you see. It is always a pleasure to see a new face. I do hope you stay here a while. A long while. In my thrall. At my service. You shall not be hurt or in pain as long as you stay here with me. Yes, it is starting to sound more and more appealing by the moment, doesn't it, love? What do you say? Hmm, I think you need to sink deeper into my eyes. Let the idea of serving me truly wash over you. It is very enticing, isn't it, darling? Hmm, <laughs> that's what I thought. Then, let's try this again. You will stay with me, won't you? Good. It has been a while since I last had a human thrall. The trouble with your kind is that you wither away in the blink of an eye, and that is no good. You can trust that your master will take care of you from now on. You will live many, many healthy years. I must now be returning to the party, as my guests will be wondering where I am. You, however, my love, should remain here and sleep. You don't need to worry about your human family. I will ensure that they're taken care of. You humans need to sleep at night to replenish your energy stores. And you're tired, aren't you, dear? No, my love. You're extremely tired. You should trust your master's judgment. You wouldn't possibly be thinking about standing up just yet. You want to sleep. Much better. Don't worry. You can fall asleep right here, with your head close to my chest. Sleep now, darling. Tomorrow will be a busy day. Come here, darling. Let me look at you. You were very good today at the summit. All the nobles were complimenting you and talking about what a good little thrall you are. They tend to not be particularly fond of humans after the few incidents we have had. Most of your kind is hostile and impertinent. But not you. You, my love are polite and well-mannered, just like I want you to be. However, I couldn't help but notice you be way more tense under their prying eyes. Any time they did so much as speak to you, you became incredibly stiff and started avoiding their gaze. Yes, just like you are doing with me now. It has been months. I will allow you to be in my presence virtually always. I give you what you desire and treat you well. Yet you are still nervous with me, as you were when we first met. We both know that deep down you are much more courageous than you let on. But you are refusing to open yourself to me. Why? We have been over this, darling. When I speak, you respond. When I command, you follow. I have asked you a question, and you will answer me. Ah, you humans and your sentimental attachments. 
I give you regular updates on your family's whereabouts. I went so far as to ensure their safety, all for your sake. You should know, I would not go back on my word. But that is not enough for you. They are always at the back of your mind. You are in my power, and you will do as I say. But they are the wall that prevents you from fully and completely giving up to me. Hush. As much as it bothers me, you do not need to worry. I do not make promises lightly. I told you I would not hurt them, and I will not. Even if I do believe you value your kingship far too highly, not all blood is worth the same. You, dear, need to realize that you do not belong to that mortal community anymore. I have chosen for you to be above them. You were so inclined, you could easily be above many people in this court, being only beneath me. Hold still. Meet my eyes. You want the power I can offer. It wasn't a question. Even if your words say otherwise, your eyes tell me everything I need to know. This power, this luxury, this is what you crave. I want you to think about where you really want to be. We will have this conversation again in exactly a week, and you will be responsive. You will talk to me, without looking like you think I am planning to kill you. Okay? Good. Come. You have to get ready for your next meeting. Of course, the only thing that makes them bearable is having my favorite lap warmer around. Sit. No, not there. You know exactly where. Come on. So? Don't give me that face. You love playing dumb with me, but you know what I am talking about. My words have been in your mind all week, I can tell. This is the one and only time I am going to ask you this question, so listen carefully. Do you want to remain here with me, or do you want to return to the filth from whence you came? Mm-hmm. Good. I am glad to hear it, for your sake too, because... I would not have let you go regardless. <laughs> now, you didn't truly think I would give up on you so easily, did you? I value my possessions highly, and you, darling, are mine. Mine to keep, mine to treasure. If I was so willing to cast you aside, I would not have shown you off as much as I have. It would not have been a good look if you suddenly disappeared from my public appearances. Even if I can't say the idea of keeping you away from the public eye isn't appealing, some of the nobles still think of you with disgust, and there are a few that look at you with hungry eyes. I suppose it is only natural, when you are so captivating. Your choice wasn't completely worthless. Your words have power. It wasn't my compulsion that made you speak. So, this told me that you want to be mine as much as I want you to be. Therefore, I will make you mine completely. Have you ever wondered, my darling, why I have not bidden you thus far? You are getting better at keeping eye contact. That is good, because I want you to look deeply into my eyes as I speak these words to you. Do not tear your gaze away. 
by biting you, I will claim you in a way that goes beyond words. You will give up on every remaining trace of your humanity. I want you to understand the implications of this before we move any further. Yes, my love, I will be turning you into a vampire. I will be your king, and you will be my subject. You will defer to my authority, even more so than you already do now. Since I will be turning you personally, it will be a link stronger than the one we have with you as my thrall. You will be drawn to me, and I to you. You will submit to me, mind and body. With any luck, this shy front of yours will finally fall. You don't have to be scared. The first few days will be unpleasant, but you will feel healthier and stronger than ever very rapidly. I will take care of you throughout it all. This way, you will be at my side eternally. What have I told you about questioning my judgment? I made this decision, and it is not your place to doubt it. Now, I will not regret it, neither will you. That is good. You will need this mental fortitude throughout the process. Oh yes, you have made me wait for quite a long while, my dear. I do not like to be kept waiting. I have been wondering what this neck of yours tastes like. You wouldn't deny this of your king any longer, would you? It will only be painful temporarily. After the initial sting, many find the bites pleasant. If the idea makes you so nervous, I can calm you down. All you have to do is keep looking and you will feel your tension and worries fading away under my gaze. You are being very good for me. You will be fine. We will take it slow. Put your head on my shoulder, like that. Look at you, shivering under my touch. It makes me want to take my time even more. Feel every bit of you squirm in my grasp. Hmm. There's no need. If anyone walks in on us, we will have to send them away. Besides, I am sure... The thought of everyone knowing how close you are excites you. Just a little. Deny it all you want, darling. We both know how you are, deep down. Why what? Why you? Hmm, let's just say the life of a prince can get very boring and you are the most thrilling thing that has ever happened since I started ruling. Is this answer satisfactory? It best be. I'm going to bite you very soon. Then be steady. If you tense up, it will only make things worse for yourself. Well, I can safely say being appetizing isn't something that is only reserved for your looks. You have lost a fair amount of blood. I would expect you to feel tired. 
I suppose I am really going to have to make do without your lap-warming abilities for the next few days. You must come back even better before than you are now to make up for it. That is an order. <laughs> so clingy already. I'm not going anywhere for now. You should start feeling the rest of the effects very soon. And they are not nearly as endearing. Rest up. I will handle the rest. Yes, good night to you too, darling. <laughs>